Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at sound problems with a headset on Discord. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we'll be taking a look at sound problems within the Discord app on your PC. Perhaps you're having issues where people can't hear you when you're talking through the microphone, or maybe you just can't hear anybody when you're listening through the headphones. Now there's probably going to be an easy fix for it, so let's go through some of the logical steps first of all to work out what is going on and to try and rectify the problems. So the first thing you're going to want to try and do is the very simple ones. Obviously if you've got a microphone which is detachable, make sure your mic is firmly attached probably worth disconnecting it and reconnecting it just to be on the safe side. Also with your connection, whether it's a USB or a 3.5 mil jack plug, it's always going to be worth disconnecting those jack plugs, disconnect the USB stick and then plug it either into a different port or just make sure that the ports are actually plugged in properly. That can actually sometimes be the root of your problem. The next thing to try if you're using a slightly more uh, elaborate headset is to make sure that you're not accidentally muted or you've actually got the volume set down too low. So actually on your remote control for the headset, just make sure that your volume is set to the maximum level. And also if you do have a mute button such as this one, just make sure you haven't got it accidentally pressed. Again, this can be a really easy thing to overlook on some headsets. Of course, another thing to do if you possibly can, if you've got another device, another laptop, PC, etc., or maybe go around to a friend's house, is to just try your headset on another computer. Make sure it functions properly on there. At least that way then you can work out whether it's the headset which has an issue or whether it's down to your Windows installation, which we'll take a look at next. So the Windows subsystem is a, a messy beast at the best of times. So there's various things we can check. Now, one of the things to do is obviously go into Discord, probably shut it down and literally just uninstall it and reinstall it. Sometimes that can be all this necessary to do. That will reset all the settings, etc., etc. If that doesn't work, then what you can do is go into your Windows settings. And there's a few things we can try in here. So when you look at your sound icon on the taskbar, right click on it and choose open sound settings. Next, we get the basic setup. So in these sections, you can make sure that your outputs and also your inputs are set to the correct device. So on this particular instance, my output is set to my Acer monitor, but if I wanted to use just my headset, then I can go down and choose the headset, which is the gaming headset there. Now, all the sound from Windows, including communications, will come directly through the headset, which may be okay for some, but if you're one of those people that randomly switches between headset and maybe your speakers or your monitor output, then you might want to leave this set as the standard device, which is again, our monitor. The same goes for your input. So if you've got a separate microphone, then you can change that there. But ideally you want to set it to the microphone actually on your gaming headset. So those are pretty easy ones to work out. You can to try toggling these between to see if that increases or improves things for you. The next thing you can do is go into the sound control panel. So we'll click on that one and this will bring up the old fashioned control panel for sound. Now what you can do in here, if you are using multiple devices, so perhaps you've got like a set of speakers, also you've got your monitor and a microphone. So you can actually choose which device is your default device for communications. So in this instance, I want to have all my gaming audio come through my monitor, which is the Nvidia high definition audio coming through the HDMI. But I want to use my MSI headset for my communications. What you can do is highlight it. You can either, if you want to, if you want to use it on its own, you can set as default. So now the headset is now our default device. We'll change that back. But what we can do now is we've got this set to actually be in our comms device. So say for instance, with this, you could set as default communication device. So whichever one of these is got the little sound icon there, which looks like a headset, you can set that as your default audio device or default communications device. So in this instance now, the default sound output device for Windows in general is our Acer monitor, but for communications, we're now using our MSI headset as the default output. Again, toggling between these may actually rectify the problem with not getting sound in your Discord app. So if none of that is working still, what you can do is head into the Discord app, click on your profile, and you can go into user settings where you've got your account, safety, etc., etc. Drill down until you find app settings and choose voice and video, which is what we've got up here currently. And you can also configure these 
separately also. So if you've got multiple devices, again, this is a good place to check. So our default input device currently is set to the Windows default, but we can, if we want to, drill down and manually select our microphone, which is the MSI GH50 gaming headset. So we can set that to being the default. And again, the output device, even though we've told Windows what to do, it may not also register in the app. So you can drill down. Again, you can choose either your default output, which is our Acer monitor, which would be technically speakers, or we can choose speakers there, which is our MSI GH50 gaming headset. So if we click on that one, that is essentially it. So now for voice settings, our input device is the microphone from our headset, and the output device is the speakers from the headset or your headset. You can obviously make sure your volumes are set correctly and not muted. And also you can, if you want to, do a mic test by clicking on let's check and you'll get the representation on the top there. So we can tell at the moment that it's working because underneath here at the moment, the, uh, the green bar is popping up to say that we're talking. So that's looking good. Another thing we can try is if you're still not being heard, but all of this is working as normal, you can scroll all the way down to our audio subsystem. Now, depending on which version of your PC you're installed, Windows 10, maybe a slightly older version, or maybe you've just got Realtek audio, whatever the case may be, normally it will set it to the standard audio subsystem, which is a slightly enhanced version. So standard isn't really standard, it's more of a elevated system which relies on certain hardware aspects. So if you're having problems with your audio still, then you can choose the legacy. So change the audio system that will come up on the screen saying change audio subsystem and that will quit and relaunch discord are you sure you want to do this click on okay discord will shut down and then it will restart with the different sound profiles so then you can test it and make sure that everything is working as it's meant to again if this doesn't work for you and you're still experiencing problems then it's probably worth reverting back to the standard setting which will change now you might also want to change other settings in here as well some of the more experienced experimental things you can choose the experimental audio that might change it again really it's just a uh, change in between those but i think for most people actually going through the setting at the top here making sure your input device and your output device are correct here and also in the windows subsystem in the windows control panel that should fix most of your discord problems okay so there you go there are some uh, relatively straightforward and simple ways of fixing audio problems from both your microphone or your headset in Discord. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, don't forget to leave a like. And also, if you want to see more content like this on a regular basis, then hit that subscribe button and the chime icon, and you'll be notified of future video releases. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching. That's the fun now.